Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss about what is asymptotic significant value and exact significant value and when they must be used. When we are doing non-parametric test, we will be getting this asymptotic significant value and exact significant value. So I'm taking an example and I'll show you when we will get asymptotic and when we will get exact and in which case we must use this asymptotic value and in which case we must use this exact significant value. For understanding, I'm taking this example, which is called as exams, where we have two data here. Uh, one is gender, the other one is marks. And the object to the hypothesis is there is no significant difference between male and female towards the marks. Observe, uh, in this case, I have only 29 sample size. If the sample is less than 30, it is called as small sample. So the data which I'm using in this case is a small sample. So first I will do the analysis i will use man whitney u test for this analyze non parametric test legacy dialog to independent sample now gender is grouping variable and a defined group one as male two as female already i have uh, did that and exam is a scale data which i am taking as a test variable and i am using man whitney u test click ok now in the output you will be seeing um, man whitney u test and uh, test statistics here you can see asymptotic significant value is there and exact significant value is there both values are there so which need to be selected in this case this is what we need to discuss so when you are doing man whitney u test which is a non parametric method and sample size is only 29 that is less than 30 which is called small sample then we are getting asymptotic significant value and exact significant value now let us do the same example uh, with large sample so large sample in the sense I am taking 116 sample here you can see the total sample size is 116 I'll do the same type of analysis man white u test in this case also uh, analyze non parametric test legacy dialog to independent sample again gender you take as a grouping variable one as male and two as female continue and ex exam is taken as a test variable man whitney u test i am using which is a non-parametric method for two levels so click ok when i click ok now in the output you can see for a sample of 116 sample we are getting only asymptotic significant value exact significant value i'm not getting so when you're doing this non-parametric method system is giving you either asymptotic or exact so which test must be used that we are going to discuss now asymptotic significant must be used when the sample size is large that is if the sample size is more than 30 then you must use asymptotic significant value let us see what is this asymptotic significant value it says a p value that is calculated using an approximation to the true distribution is called an asymptotic value the asymptotic significant is based on the assumption that the data set is large we must not use asymptotic significant if the data set is small means if it is 30 and less than 30 don't use asymptotic significant use only exact if it is large sample if it is 30 and more than 30 only use asymptotic significant value now let us see what is exact significant value a p value calculated using the true distribution is called an exact p value when the data set is small we must use exact significant value so it is very clear if the data set is having small sample that is 30 and less than 30 use exact exact significant value if it is if the sample size is more than 30 that is a large sample use asymptotic significant value now you can see for large sample size the exact and asymptotic p values are very similar but for small sample size the exact and asymptotic p values can be quite different and can lead to different conclusion about the hypothesis it says that if your sample size is small you cannot use asymptotic use only 
exact but sample size large you can use asymptotic and exact so what is my observation is that if the sample size is large use asymptotic and if the sample size is less use exact significant value i hope this video is useful for you thank you